one thing that I would urge all of you to do, and I'm going to put a link into this channel on the show notes. Now, the two guys over at After School, so this is a channel here called After School on YouTube. It's After and School, spelt with a K, so it's S-K-O-O-L. Now, the two guys are behind this. I've spoken to them uh, before, and they're tremendous artists. They find great content, and they will uh, draw the illustrations out in their videos so their their freehand drawing isn't ai or or tools or anything like this they are using like felt tip pens and creating stunning artwork to give you an illustration of the the audio or the text or whatever it is that uh, is being explained it just makes it such a visually uh pleasing way to see something uh, that you would maybe otherwise only see in a book Particularly for myself, you know, some people are more uh, audible, some people are more visual. Um, I'm, I'm very, very visually strong, uh, so I like to see things and pictures and after school nail, nails out the park. And it, the, the variety in this channel is so wide that there's been videos that, you know, are very specific to, you know, mindset, investing, how to improve yourself, self-development, great philosophers, all the way to things that myself and my, my uh, sons watch and uh, I've got three sons all different ages and there's a video in there that, that would appeal to them all so check out After School they've got a pretty big channel uh, so a few more subscribers won't do any harm the guys are absolutely smashing it out of the park and I think I know why because when you open the video that they have uh, you'll see here that they have a, just a phenomenal way of putting the the stuff across serendipitously guess what was on there as i was working late last night and i've just finished a marathon session of mindset content and so on and the topic that was discussed was how do you get over the fear how do you combat and eliminate the fear what processes do you use now my answer was, you know, I don't have any fear and I don't own a morsel of self-doubt because the greatest fear to me is not doing this, right? Not in a outward sense. I mean, very, very inwardly. Inwardly, it's like, what is the risk? Like, if you ask yourself, you shut the door, right? Nobody's around. The lights are off and you sit there and you think to yourself, what is, am I afraid of giving this a try? And what would my what, what would my life look like if I tried this? Just imagine what your life would look like if you attempted this goal or adventure or business or investment. What if you succeeded? What if it worked? What would your life look like then? How would you feel about yourself? How would people see you? How would your friends and family talk about you taking that incredible leap? and pushing through, building resilience, building that endurance, the determination. Imagine what that would be like. And what I would say is the greatest fear is not doing that. The thing that you should be afraid of is not trying. Because life is full of these adventures that you can take. Now, you will heard the expression, if it was easy, everyone would do it. And that's true. And that's exactly the point that the great things that happen in life are th you going through struggles and not just struggles in terms of uh, external factors that have been surprised you know landed on you or have been a surprise or they came out of the blue but also struggles in terms of you've started an endeavor and you've wanted to see if you can improve strengthen up toughen up endure make it to the end complete something that struggles as well and those struggles are good because they make you stronger if you look back at your life, every single thing that has made you stronger has had resistance. So it's been tough situations, you've not had the money, uh, maybe people didn't believe in you, maybe you didn't believe in yourself, maybe you were your own worst enemy. But you managed to find a way, right? And if you want a structure of doing this, we're building this in the mindset community. There is questionnaires that will be sent to you, you can fill them in, uh, we'll email you your answers back. We can fill in your planner for you. And it's all part of finding out what it is that you truly want. 
And it's about finding a way that you can go and feel more confident, become more uh, determined to, to be laser beam focused on what it is that you want to get from yourself and what's possible. Just imagine what if, what if it worked? These are the things where we want to take people who have that. Now, there's people out there that, that don't want these types of things. There's people that are just quite happy with what they've got. That's okay. If that's if that's all you want, then great. But if you are out there and you want a little bit more from yourself, not just the material things, you don't need to want cars and uh, houses and uh, cash and wealth. It can be things like a challenge. It can be maybe you want to lose some weight. Maybe you want to just improve yourself. Maybe you want to build on your self-confidence. Maybe you want to... Uh, Complete a challenge that you failed before. Maybe you just want to have a better mindset. Maybe you've got a few things that you want to try. Maybe you want to take the leap to start something new. Whatever that is. Just like if you went to run a marathon, you would want to train. The best way to do it would be to prepare. The best way to prepare would be train because what you're doing is you're going to be getting your body to do something that is going to be hard on it. And if you prepare your body then you can then have a much better result. It's much easier on your, your system. Same with if you went to the gym and you wanted to get stronger. That first day that you go into the gym, you're not going to pick up the heaviest weight in there. You're going to start at a lighter weight and you're going to build your, your way up. Well, the reason that you do that is, is that you are gradually building the resistance. What happens is, is you build that resistance, you get stronger, and then you come back and you can push more. And then you get even stronger again, you come back and you can push more. That happens over 8, 10, 12 weeks. And you can continually do that. So where do people do that for their mind? Where's the mind, Jim? Where is it? Well, this is why we're creating it, because there's lots of pieces out there that can help you do it. Where's the complete set? Where can you do it? And that's what we're building in the, co the coaching community, is a place where we can uh, extract all the goals out of you and create a template that can get the results that you want.